Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at Peace of Mind Add and Content Blocker for the iPhone and iPad. Now I'm going to go and open this up, and this is just where we're going to edit the settings and preferences for our ad blocking. We're actually going to have to go into the settings to enable this, which I'm going to show you how to do. And then we'll also take a look at the comparison of loading a web page with Peace of Mind enabled and then with Peace of Mind not enabled. So right here in this section, we have up at the top, we have soft, medium, and hard. That's going to be the strength of our ad blocker. Soft is just going to kind of do a general lower end blocking where hard is going to be more of scrutinizing everything on the page. Down below, we have our ad blocker, media blocker, and privacy blocker. So the ad blocker option is obviously going to prevent ads from being loaded. Media will go ahead and prevent media from being loaded and privacy are going to be the tracking mechanisms from websites. So all I have to do is just tap these on and they're going to be enabled and it's also going to coincide with the rules up here, the soft, medium, or hard. And I can always hit these information buttons to go ahead and give me a little bit more of detailed information about what this is going to do. So for example, ad blocker, if I tap on that information button, it'll go ahead and pop up and show me what's being blocked. Now, peace of mind also allows me to whitelist specific websites. What this does is it tells peace of mind not to run any sort of blocking protocols whenever I visit a specific site. So all I have to do is hit this plus button in the top right hand corner. Let's go ahead and add in state of tech. Then I'll go ahead and hit OK. So now it's been added into the list and whenever I go visit state of tech with peace of mind enabled, none of the ad blocking protocols will be ran on that website and I'll be able to see all of the ads. Now then there are also the update blocker lists. So if I were to switch it from any of the soft, medium, or hard up there, I would want to run this to make sure that all the rules have been added in. So you see I have 294 ad rules, one media rules, and 14 privacy rules. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the media blocker off so that way I can still see images when we go ahead and enable this. I'll go ahead and update my blocker lists and notice that the media has been, go ahead and been removed. Now I have a tutorial and I can also report a problem. The tutorial basically just shows you how to enable it, which I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do now. So I'm going to go ahead and come into my settings app. I'm going to scroll down until I see Safari. We'll tap on Safari and now I'm going to scroll down until I see content blockers. So I'll go ahead and tap on there. Now you see peace of mind here. I'll go ahead and turn that on, which enables content blocking, and it's going to go ahead and use all of the rules that we just set up inside of Peace of Mind. So now what I'm going to do is we'll go into Safari, and I'm going to go ahead and load in a web page. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in a website up at the top of the screen. I tap Go, and now you see this website loads in fairly quick. I'm not seeing any of the ads that I typically would see, and I can scroll through and I'm just seeing all of the content that they're posting. I'll even go ahead and uh, jump into an article here that they've posted and we're also noticing this is loading very quickly. There's no ads and I'm swiping through and seeing just the content that I want to. So now as a comparison what I'm going to go ahead and do is open up the settings app. We're going to disable peace of mind and then jump right back into Safari and you can see what the difference is. So now we're going to go ahead and refresh the page and notice now that we have ads popping up here at the top of the screen. The overall page itself is taking a little bit longer to load in and as I swipe down I'm seeing a little bit more things going on here than I would have. And let's jump into that same article that we just saw. So I'll jump into that article. Notice now it took a little bit longer to load and now I have ads at the top of the screen and as I scroll through the article I have this giant ad displaying right here that almost takes up the entire web browser. But now check this out. We'll go ahead and come back into the settings. We'll enable peace of mind. And now we'll jump back into Safari and we'll go ahead and reload this web page. And now notice the difference that it makes. I no longer have those ads displaying at the top of the page, nor that one that took up the entire screen of my device. And we are using the iPhone 6 Plus. So that was an overall large ad that was displaying right there in the middle of the screen. And then you can always come back into your actual peace of mind, go ahead and enable and re-enable some of the different settings and rules, so that way you can actually block different content. So if I were to add in the media blocker, we'll go ahead and update our blocker lists. Now I see the media rules are in there as well. Let's go ahead and come back into the web page, being that it's still enabled, we'll refresh it, 
and we should not see any media. So you see here, I see text only, and all I have to do is now click on these links. And I'm just gonna see the bulk of what I'm looking for, such as articles and text that I'm looking to read. And so always remember, if this is not something that you wanna see, come back in, let's go ahead and disable the media blocker. We'll update our lists. We'll come back into this web page, reload it, and we should see all of the rich media that we're looking for without any of the ads. So once again, this application is called Peace of Mind Ad Blocker. If you like it, pick it up in the App Store for your iPhone and iPad.